The 8 a.m. podcast presented by Train the Teacher. Hey, everyone. You know how some tech topics feel just impossible to wrap your head around? Well, a lot of the time, the big idea behind them is actually super simple. And today, that's what we're going to do with blockchain. We're going to break it all down using something we can all get, a magic shared notebook. Ready? Let's jump right in. Okay, so let's start with a really basic problem. Picture this. You and a bunch of your friends are trading stuff. Maybe it's cool toys, collectible cards, whatever. It's all fun and games, right? But how do you keep things fair? How do you really know who owns what after a bunch of trades? What stops someone from just saying, hey, I never gave you that, that's still mine. You see the problem, right? Well, what if I told you the solution is a super special shared notebook? Yeah, a notebook. But this isn't just some regular diary. This notebook belongs to everyone in the group, and its one and only job is to write down every single trade that happens for everyone to see. And believe it or not, this simple little notebook, it's the key to this whole thing. All right, so how does a notebook stop people from cheating? Well, it all boils down to two super simple but really powerful rules. These two rules make sure everything stays fair. Let's get into them. Okay, rule number one. This is the first bit of magic. It's not just one notebook, nope. Everyone in the group gets their very own identical copy. Now think about that for a second. What does that mean? It means if you try to cheat, say you secretly scribble something out in your copy, well, it's not going to work. Why? Because everyone else's notebook still has the real story. They'd all look at yours and go, wait a minute, that's not right. You'd be caught instantly. It's honesty through transparency. And then there's rule number two, which is just as important. Once the page in the notebook is full of trades and everyone agrees it's all correct, that page gets locked, like super glued shut. You can't erase anything, you can't change a single word, you can't even tear the page out. Once it's in there, it's in there forever. It's a permanent record. So let's walk through this step by step. Let's say you trade a toy with your friend. First, you make the trade, then you both shout out, hey everyone, we just made this trade, and you write it down. Instantly, that new trade gets copied into every single person's notebook, so all the copies match. And once that page is full, Bam! It's locked for good. It's now a permanent part of your group's history. See? Pretty straightforward. Okay, so let's recap. We've got this awesome notebook, right? It uses these two simple rules to create a perfect, tamper-proof record that everyone can trust. It's a great system for trading toys, but what on earth does this have to do with computers and tech? Well, hang on, because here comes the big reveal. I know what you're thinking. A notebook for kids trading toys... What does that have to do with anything? How do you take this simple little idea and apply it to, you know, the massive, complicated world of computers and the internet? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Well, here it is. That magic notebook we've been talking about this whole time, that's a blockchain. Seriously, it's the exact same idea, just digital. Instead of a paper notebook, you have a digital file or a ledger. Instead of a group of friends, you have a network of computers all over the world. But the most important parts, those two rules, they're exactly the same. Everyone has a copy, and you can't change what's written. That's it. That's blockchain. So, okay, now we know our magic notebook is just a simple way to think about blockchain. So what's the point? If we're not tracking toys, what kind of digital stuff is this system keeping track of out there in the real world? Well, it's used for all kinds of digital things. The biggest one you probably heard of is online money you know, cryptocurrencies. The blockchain is basically the giant shared bank book for it. No single bank owns it, but everyone can see it and trust it. And it's also used for other things like cool digital trading cards or art. The blockchain acts like a permanent certificate of authenticity, proving who owns it and who owned it before them. Pretty neat, huh? So whether we're talking about online money or digital art, it really all comes down to one big idea. The whole point of this technology, the reason it exists, is to create a new way to trust each other especially when we're online and don't know the person on the other side. And this is what makes it so different. Think about it. The old way, the traditional way. We always need a middleman, right? A grown-up in the room, like a bank, to check everything and say, yep, this is legit. The blockchain way gets rid of the middleman. The system itself is the referee. Those rules about everyone having a copy and locking the pages, they keep everyone honest automatically. There's no one person in charge, which is a huge deal. You know, there's a quote that just nails this whole idea perfectly. It says that blockchain is like a magic diary. 
that keeps everyone honest. And that's really what it is. It's a diary everyone shares, no one can secretly change it, and it makes sure that the story it tells is the only true story. So at the end of the day, this whole thing is about building trust without needing a boss or a referee to watch over us. And that leaves us with a really cool question to chew on. Just imagine for a second, what could you create? What could we all build if we never had to worry and ask, can I trust this? Think about that. The possibilities are kind of mind-blowing.